Now moving on to the second component of the video series today, uh, let's recall that we can use systems of linear equations to solve word problems like this. Um, in class we had talked about rates of work or rates of speed even. Uh, in this case uh, we have rates as well in terms of uh, you know chemistry solutions. Now as I read these problems I see that <clears throat> we're trying to find how many liters of a 70% alcohol solution must be added to 50 liters of a 40% solution to produce a 50% alcohol solution. And it may not be clear at first, but I think an argument can be made that our first variable, x, is going to represent how many liters of the 70% solution. Then y could represent the number of liters of the 40% solution. And in this case, we actually know what y is equal to. We know that y has to be 50 liters. So that'll be kind of helpful. That's a component in our system that's already identified. And lastly, z could be how many liters of the 50% solution. Now by setting up our system this way, we have three unknown variables, so it'd be nice to have three equations, and we could potentially create that, but since this y component's already known, I don't think we'll need three equations in our system. Let's start off by noting this, that the com combination of the number of x liters plus y liters is going to produce our <clears throat> final solution here. So we don't know how many liters are in the final solution, but the number of uh, the number for x plus y must equal z. So this equation relates the total amount of um, each solution adding together. If we want to consider the alcohol component, uh, we might say something like this. 0 0.7 for 70% of x is alcohol, and 40%, so 0 0.4 of y is alcohol, and the end result is going to be 0 0.5 of z is alcohol. I think if we create our third line here, simply stating that y equals 50, then this, in a sense, is a system of equations that we can work with. And we could rearrange it so that we could bring this to our calculator to solve. But I'm going to recommend that we make our substitution here by hand and see how far that gets us. So we can note that x plus y equal, I'm sorry, x plus 50 equals z. We can state that 0 0.7 times x plus 0 0.4 times 50 is equal to 0 0.5z. And again, we have this expression because we've substituted 50 in place of each y. And because that uh, substitution took place, I recognize another substitution here. I can take the expression x plus 50 and replace z with that as well. So without using the um, calculator or the matrix method in linear algebra, it's just simply uh, substituting uh, for known values along the way. We've got this expression. We can combine like terms and then ultimately solve for x. We now know that x is equal to 25. Since x plus y equals z, then z must be equal to 75 liters. So I have one more example down here. I think I'll pause the video for this one and see how you would do working on it on your own. I would recommend that you pause the video now and resume playback in a moment to check your work. In this instance, I took the same approach. I noticed that the question was asking how many ounces of pure water must be added. So um, I let that question represent my first variable, x, the ounces of water. And as I kept reading, I noticed that this was talking about water that was, um, uh, that was mixed with salt. So if it's pure water, that implies that it's 0% salt, contains 0% salt. 
The Y variable ended up being the uh, number of ounces of 15% salt solution or saline solution. And we also were told that that's 50 ounces. And then finally, Z is the number of ounces of 10% solution. So in a similar uh, setup to the last problem, X plus Y equals Z, in this case 0X plus 0.15Y equals 0.1Z, and then finally Y equals 50. Rather than use substitution to solve this, um, this problem here, I went ahead and rearranged the equations a little bit. So if you recall, in order to use a system of equations, we need all variables on one side and solutions on the other. So I subtracted z to the left and I ended up with this first equation. In the second equation, same sort of thing happened. The 0x in this case did cancel or disappear, so I left it off. But I have 0.15y minus 0.1z equals 0. And then lastly, y is equal to 50. And I left a little bit of space here to keep myself better organized. When I went to the calculator, this is the result that I saw. And you may notice that I had a couple typos along the way until I got it right. But my coefficients equal 0, coefficients equal 0, and then finally coefficients equal 50. And so with the reduced row echelon form command, it appears that uh, the combination of 25, 50, and 75 appear in this solution set as well. There are 25 ounces of pure water. fifty ounces of fifteen percent saline solution and finally seventy five ounces of the ten percent saline solution the combination of the two i think i'll record just one more video for the review today and in that we'll talk a little bit about solving uh, systems of equations by hand i'll also make this document available to you uh, for practice and i'll post it into schoology as well so look forward to that next one in the link below. Thanks.